Antoinetta, tell us something about your game today. Well, I obviously played quite risky in the opening. And I guess I was quite lost. <laughs> but uh, okay, it was uh, very complicated and somewhere in the time travel, I guess around the 40th move. Uh, I think Maria made a mistake and then uh, after rook b2, I think it's just a draw. Yes, definitely. Your opening looked very unusual with a6, knight c6. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, sometimes I like to play original and uh, normally when you do this with black, you get uh, quickly demolished, <laughs> which almost happened today. But, uh, you know, somehow, okay, Maria is not really a D4 player. And I knew she had a free day also to prepare, and I knew she prepares very well. So I just, uh, I guess I just wanted to avoid my usual lines and try something different, which, uh, well, at the end, kind of worked out because I didn't lose the game, but I was completely lost, so I wouldn't recommend to people to okay. do so. D not recommended to viewers of this, uh, this show? No, no. <laughs> Better okay. to play something normal. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Okay. Antoinette, let's have a look at your game from the opening. Uh, yeah, well, as we already said, it was... Not a usual one, so here I decided to go knight c6, mm -hmm. which I guess is not the best move. And then, uh, okay, I thought, of course, uh, it's not very recommendable to play a million moves with the same piece in the opening, but uh, somehow in any case, c6 is not the best square, and I wanted to quickly attack this bishop and then play c6 and Okay, it's uh, this Carlsbad structure which can be played in many ways, but uh, obviously mine was not one of the best An ways. unusual one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we proceed to this sort of position and you decided to play. Yeah, that five. was too much, I guess. Um, well, in fact, I underestimated h4 and uh, after h4, I think uh, already whatever I do, I'm significantly worse and uh, somehow okay I didn't want to get h5 and then have to go back with my knight again so I played h5 which I realized it looks very ugly but uh, sometimes uh, you have to make ugly moves I mean <laughs> nothing to do uh, so so we proceeded and you've got your Carlsbad set up here yeah okay maybe we can Skip forward a bit? Yeah, I don't know if uh, all this is so interesting, but okay. uh, at some point maybe I was I was thinking that maybe I'm not so bad anymore. Of course, one of the, the important break for white is to try and get e4, which he yes, of managed course. in this position. So I suppose this is quite interesting for people to... I think uh, Maria, she played quite well because uh, I somehow didn't think that she will manage so quickly to play e4 and I thought that I'll have enough time either to organize an attack, uh, mm -hmm. either to, I don't know, maybe I can even castle long and, uh, mm -hmm. well, I mean, I just I was just trying to do whatever I could with a bad position. <laughs> so, yes, of course. Yeah. So we move to, say, e5, another, yeah. another place in the game where you, you played queen b4 here. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, strategically I'm lost. So I just have to try and create some chances, right? Okay. So and you defended the pawn with the king? I, I don't know. Uh, at some point probably, I don't know if I missed something or it was just not possible to somehow push c5 earlier. I don't know. Look, so this is the time control. So I guess here, when the seven, what Maria yes. played was just a mistake because she allows me to have this nice combination. This trick here, yeah. Okay, I, I think the computer said, did it say rook e5 here? Something like this, does that um, make sense? Maybe, maybe rook attacking e5. the bishop on yes. d5, maybe. But uh, okay, let's just see queen d7. And then actually here I was not sure that it was my only option. 
what I did, but of course I also lost the whole game that I, when I saw that I can make a draw, I just mm -hmm. decided to take it and not to over push yes. uh, things. But um, yeah, okay. probably so I have nothing better. So, I don't think so, yeah, I think this is the best. Yeah, so rook b2. Takes b2. And queen d3, yeah. Queen d3. And actually, yeah, this is... Uh, so I thought here uh, white, I mean, has objectively nothing to do, but uh, let's say if you try queen d6, and then probably just check on d2, and something like this. I don't know if I have other moves, but I thought that this should be enough because I'm threatening mate, so something like check and here and rook now rook c3. Rook c3, okay. Rook c3 and I take here and I, I guess it's drawing in case. Yes. Um, and what else? Uh, can you move back? Yes. To rook c2, okay, there was uh, some nice line. Okay, how we played, uh, can you move? Okay, queen b3 yes. check, see Check, king c1. c1, I took there, king d1. d1, and I think this is... And, of course, here she could yes. play yeah. rook d2, and now I was thinking queen, queen b3, and after king e 2 I have... Ah. This little move, and of course she cannot take on e6 because of queen f3 main. But uh, she can play here, for example. And then take, take, and queen e3. And I guess it should be a draw in any Should case. be a draw, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.